Hello guys, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Uh, I hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to run an event report and also either print uh, or um, you know export or email the file. Okay. Uh, I'm going to also show you that you can actually dynamically search from uh, the event report tabs and also group by different columns. Okay. So in the previous video, we did uh, show how to create event filters and link filters to reports and, and then the reports to status pages and so on. I wanted to do something separate just for uh, running a report and also how to export it. Okay. So let me show you how it's done. So we already have some reports created from the previous video. So we go to, um, let's say, uh, sorry, reports and events. And then I'm going to select, let's say, a report here like uh, user events, um, employee entrance. OK. All right. So here you have the little play button to start um, the, the run report. Uh, by default, it's going to show all events from today since midnight. OK. But you can obviously change this. You have different values here. Or you can manually put the start and the end date. OK. Um, also. If the site has multiple controllers, you can select the specific controller from the list. So we will remove events from any other controllers in the database. All right, and also you can put the, the name of a record. So if you look, if you're looking for, um, you know, uh, let's say a specific user in the in this event report, you can type the first name or the full name of the user, and it, again it will remove other events from the report and only show events for that specific user. Okay. So if I want all user, and then I don't put any records in there. So if I run the report, you see it spinning until it's done retrieving events okay if it's a very long report and you see that you have received the events that you needed you can hit the stop button and then it's going to stop um, running the report okay so you see I have all events here from you know the employee entrance you see the name of the door here okay so one very cool feature that people maybe uh, don't know is you can put something a, a, a criteria for searching here so if I type Fred it, very quickly and that's the key here all reports are ran very quickly with this platform so I can type my name and automatically will find the events for that uh, user record okay could be the name of a door or anything that's part of the description okay also something that's pretty cool you can grab a column here and then drop it at the top so this way it's going to group all of those events by user, all right? So it's very easy to see, okay, Fred went to that door, you know, four times, five times today, okay? So it's all sorted by user, okay? I can, you know, uh, break this, uh, let's see, I can ungroup like this, right? And also, you can either export or print. So when you click the print button, it's going to give you a print preview. If you have a printer program on this client computer or even the server, you, so you will need to select the printer in the next step. Okay. If you want to export the report to a file, um, like I said before, I like Excel uh, type of files to be able to sort. So you just then select the path for the document and you save it and it's saved on the local hard drive or the computer. Okay. Or a network drive if you have any. All right. So that was, you know, how to export. If you have an, an email um, account on this computer, you can then email the report automatically and you put the recipient for the email. Okay. Again, it's very simple. Uh, we showed in different videos how to create filters. So when you start deploying a new site, you create all those filters based on the different conditions you would like to have shown in the report. And then you can run the report manu manually, put the report in the status page, or have the report emailed uh, or exported uh, based on the schedule. Okay. Again, very important to understand this. This is the best way to retrieve events from a system. Um, you know, you have to be able to do this if you want to maintain a site properly. Okay. So again, it was how to run and export or email an event report with the Prodigy GX platform. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Uh, go to inaccess.com if you want some contact for sales or support. Again, thanks for watching this video. It's Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. See you soon. Thank you.